Hi, it's Jessica, and today I'm making a classic French dessert, madeleines. Now, if you've never had a madeleine before, they're really buttery, yummy little sponge cakes that have a very distinctive shape. On one side, you have these ridges that form a really nice and pretty shell. The opposite side normally has this little hump. So to make madeleines, you obviously need the madeleine pan. But today I'm going to try some tips and tricks from the internet to see if we can get that coveted hump. Because if a madeleine is flat, can you really call it a madeleine? As always, I will leave the full recipe in the description box below, so let's start baking. Part 1. Prepping the madeleine pan. Butter and flour the pan. Make sure to get into all the grooves. Time for hack number one, freezing the pan. Part two, making the batter. In a large mixing bowl, combine eggs and sugar. Beat until well combined. Add in pumpkin puree, salt, and pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can use a combination of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. Continue to stir and once combined, add in flour and then add in butter. Stir until it's all just combined. Hack number two, freeze or chill the batter. You can see here that the batter has firmed up after only 30 minutes in the freezer. Transfer one tablespoon of batter into each of the indentations of the madeleine pan. Hack number three, one tablespoon of batter equals the perfect size madeleine. Part three, baking. Bake for 11 to 12 minutes. Cool and dust with powdered sugar if desired. You're unnecessarily high up. That made the, which just makes a big old mess. Now for my honest review of whether those internet tips actually helped. The first tip was freezing the pan. Honestly, when you're making your batter, it's really easy to just throw the pan in the freezer, so I say go for it. The next tip, freezing the batter. Yes, this definitely made a difference. 
I made two batches of madeleines and the difference between the first and the second batch, you can definitely see a bigger hump in the second batch. That second batch of batter had 30 extra minutes in the freezer. So I definitely think freezing the batter or having your batter cold really makes the difference. If I had to guess, I would say having both the cold batter plus your hot oven and your oiled pan, that makes that really crisp, dark golden brown edge. So I say you definitely should freeze or chill your batter. The next tip is about sizing. Most recipes said to use a tablespoon of batter for each of the little molds. Personally, I like a nice full hearty looking madeleine so I did a heaping tablespoon to make sure we could fill out the edges of the mold. Otherwise, if you just use a regular level off tablespoon, you kind of miss those nice crisp edges of the pan and in the mold. The final tip is about bake time. Personally, I like a nice golden madeleine, so I recommend baking for at least one or two more minutes than this recipe calls for. If you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell. You don't want to miss the next thing we bake up. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever made madeleines and if you have any special tips for getting that coveted hump. Yeah.